Hello YouTube, welcome to a very short video regarding local gold when it comes to taking down towers. So I found this tweet made by Lifania, um, and the tweet basically says Tower local gold. Towers give local gold when destroyed to any allied champion within 1200 range or within 2500 range if the allied champion has attacked the tower within 10 seconds. Herald does not give local gold. First tower bonus is also considered local gold. So the red circle means the attack range of tower, not really that uh, important here. Proximity assists, that is the local gold. And then the damage assist, which means that if you have damaged the tower within the last 10 seconds, then this is the circle you go by. If you haven't attacked the tower, then you need to be within this green circle. But just attack the tower, then it's within this blue circle. And the reason why this is very important is, as it states in this tweet, that even at Worlds there are a bunch of players who are simply missing out on local gold because they're recalling too far away, as you can see right here. Here he did not attack the tower, meaning that there's no icon. We can see that because there's no icon of Aatrox uh, killing the tower, meaning that he hasn't hit the tower in the last 10 seconds, so he needs to be a lot closer in order to get the assist or he needs to attack the tower before he gets um, gold and there is another situation here where it's the same thing right here again minions kill the tower and they don't get an assist on it meaning that they miss out on local gold and again right here this time um, it's saying that Sejuani killed the tower but it's actually the rift herald and rift herald will not give you the local gold as you can see um, Someone did say something about the third one though. Uh, this one hasn't really been responded to, but yeah. That is basically the tweet. I'll showcase it once again. So make sure that you either hit the tower and then you can stay within this blue circle as long as the tower drops within the last 10 seconds. Otherwise you have to stand a lot close to the tower if you don't actually hit the tower within the last 10 seconds in order to gain that local gold. So. I have a different video explaining the different amount of gold that you're gonna be getting for the different towers, but it's basically, uh, I'll leave that video down below and then you can watch that one as well if you're interested in about the specific amount of gold that these players are missing out on. But short video, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, remember to like and yeah, leave a comment if you are not sure about whatever um, things that are mentioned in this tweet. And then I'll get back to you. Otherwise, subscribe so you don't miss out on future content. And then I just want to say thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.